Good day guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In my last video tutorial, I talked about how to access VB Editor in Excel and the structure of VB Editor. So in today's video tutorial, I am going to continue from where I saw on how to access VB Editor in Excel. So let's get started. Okay. Another important thing to know here is that there are convention by naming the worksheet. For example, I cannot use space. Okay, I cannot use space mm -hmm. here in the property window to name the sheet. If I do that, it will sales, it will sales no and uh, no not a legal object name T1. Okay, so I have to close the space right there. Okay, now so you can so I can use use a name which has no space character or i can use an underscore here which is i can say t underscore one which will definitely you can see that it's definitely a thing. this is almost the same convention that we use when we talk about name ranges in my previous video tutorial course now we have the project uh, explorer window here we have the property windows here this is the total bar section if you go to this option these are the standard 2003 style of option where you have all these buttons and eh, available and you go through this button you have different you have different um different options available don't get overwhelmed okay don't get overwhelmed by all these options if you are looking at this for the first time all this will be quite new to you but don't worry we will go through these options when we go through this course we also have the two bar okay below the word we also have the two bar below the bar section okay and below and um, below the two bar and uh, we also have the two bar here yeah where, where we had this hack icon you can customize this by clicking on your hard or remove by clicking on the hard or remove button okay now within the vba we also have an area where we can write code okay so it will be here but before that let me show you something i will insert a module and when i go to the insert button right here it show me this option which is called the module and uh, module class yeah, that is the user form hmm? module and the, the class module i will talk about that in my video tutorial in this VBA course but I want to talk about the module okay first if I click on it okay if I click on it it says module one and that same time I have this window available this is the code window this is where I will write my code and that code will be executed by pressing or a button or using a keyboard shot Cut, okay so if i double click on the module one okay i can write if i i can i have this available if i had another module okay if i have another module okay which is what module two and i want to rename it you might i want to rename this module so i can right click but I can see there is no rename option. So I will again have to go back to the word to the property window. Okay, go back to the property window right here, and I can rename the module sales. Let me sales um, BB BB intro. Okay, okay, you can see so and i can then name this module here in the vba project window as well now when you double click okay now now you can see so when you double click on the module one here 
you have this and when you double click on this bb intrus or you also have this it's open the code windows where I, I need to write all my code okay that is good now if you want to delete this module you can also like you can right click which i said it earlier okay you can right click and go to the remove bb the, uh, remove bb intro but when you click on it as they will show you this prompt do you want to export the bb intro before removing it we have the tendency of clicking yes option as soon as we we delete something but in this case you will have to press no if you don't want to export it and if you Press yes, it will open this window where it will ask you to work to give it the location where it want to work, export the file. If you want to delete this individual element, okay, individual element right here and see. So, for example, if I want to delete this property window, I can I can simply activate it and click on this cross and. Um, icon here similarly you can delete the proper uh, the project explorer right here likewise okay and you can also delete the code and uh, the code window here okay so you also you, uh, if you you have different code windows for different modules for example if i open the module model tools okay and the bb engineer it will have to close it twice at this at the code window and when i do that all the screen are gone and if i want to this bar then i can go to the view section right here and then i can get this bar by clicking on the word you can see you can get it by clicking on the word the property and then i can also have this property window property window bar i can also have this word the project explorer back right on okay that is it then there are four components that you need to know the first one is one the two bar okay which i've already explained and this option remain there remain in their home and you can use them for hiding or removing a or a lot of stuff okay we also have the project explorer here you use it when you are accessing different objects in the microsoft excel application we have the property window right here you can dock you can dock this if you want to move this property window i can start moving it and put it anywhere so whenever you see a tick line around it then you can leave it there you can leave it there so it's almost like a free floating object and i can put it anywhere if i wanted i can leave it here i can also leave it here i can also put it back here so i wish i feel happy like then we have the code windows as well here so there are four parts these have the two bars the the project explorer the property window and wall and also the code window now there is one more thing that i want to cover in this video and that is the object browser okay if you go to the view options okay here you have this object browser okay if i click on it or i can use the keyboard shortcut which is what the f2 it opens the object browser here for me so in this case you have this drop you have this drop down drop down this way here where you can select the library you can either select hall or all libraries or there is an excel office here you also have the you have, you have the excel you have the office you have the SCDO, you have the bba you also have the bba project don't worry about all this name let's say we focus on the excel and uh, and it will give me all it will give it will give it will give me all this option right here be, below and let's say if i want to search for something i so i want to search let's say i want to search for chat 
okay let me type chat and what and enter okay you can see as soon as it can enter it's giving this library okay here which is excel and it will give me all the options so this is an application this is an application object and we need the application we have this active chat members okay since i have this search chart here okay they have this search chart here it will give me anything that it contains the the chat test string okay then it will show me all the members of the chat family so in this case if i go if i go and select this right here it will also give me all the chat families right here okay now a lot of things even the advanced research will not know everything about the vba so if you are struggling with vba or if you want to know more about the kind of subject that are in the subjects related to those or method or property then you can search here okay if you are getting overwhelmed by this don't worry we will see how this can be used effectively later in this course so that is it in this video i hope you found this video useful thank you and have a blessed day bye